This video is sponsored by me. Okay guys, I made three 8-bit sweaters for the holiday. One green, one blue and one red. You can get them on my Teespring uh, storefront. Everything's down below. And this weekend you get them at 10% off using the promo code WEEKEND. <laughs> okay, back to stripes. Hey guys, salut, it's Alex. Welcome back to the grocery bag series where I'm trying to uh, create the ultimate grocery bag that would double up properly as, as a daily bag, basically. This is prototype number two. It's very nice, super foldable, extremely light. It's water and weatherproof, which is amazing. It's also leak proof. It fits perfectly in my pocket, but it's definitely lacking structure and uh, insulation since this fabric, Tyvek, by the way, is so thin. So I need to come up with prototype number three. This is reflective foil bubble insulation. This is gonna bring some structure and some insulation to the grocery bag. This looks to be quite solid. Also an interesting fact with this uh, specific material, I've got the reflective insulation, but I've also got the contact insulation since there's a gap between, you know, the outside and the inside. It's just a better insulator. It's quite soft. I don't know exactly what I did, but I clearly did something wrong since I broke the tip of my needle. You know what guys, I'm a bit worried about this situation. The teeth of my sewing machine, they are not biting into anything. They are supposed to grab the fabric and make it move one step at a time. And if not, the needle might not be aligned with the hole. It's important to keep the angle right when you're punching. Otherwise, I Let's try to replace that stuff. Okay. That's better. If anybody sneeze right now, I'm gonna kill that person. The most unlikely thing that was gonna happen just happened. I did that in the f So I basically just sewed the reflective lining and the Tyvek together creating a new material that I am gonna sew uh, outside in to create the uh, perfect grocery bag version 3 or 4 or 5 exactly like I did in episode number 2. I've got a few concerns at the moment because the reflective lining is so thick I'm not sure the machine is gonna be able to just be punching through uh, four layers of fabric probably too much and my second concern is that even if I achieve this in the first place how am I supposed to put this back like outside in because it's so 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 stiff now on the bright side of things it's gonna be a super sturdy bag so so first the leap of faith. I need to cut this. It always seems very wrong to cut the thing that I'm building, but I did that in the past and yet I'm still scared. What was the point of all of this? Now the outside in situation, I might just use a stick. Oh, that's amazing. That's exactly what I wanted to achieve. Still is very light and it's definitely way more solid than just with Tyvek. Not gonna lie, I was a bit worried when I did that move. Uh, it's looking good, but truth be told, I made a mistake. This was supposed to be on the edge. Next step now is to build the closing mechanism on top. Because basically the zipper you saw in, in the episode uh, number two make the opening too tight. It's not practical. This is supposed to be a grocery bag, okay? I'm trying to come up with a smart you know, closing or opening mechanism on top. But I'm failing miserably. However, I found something. <laughs> Hush now, my baby. Beware of this now. Whatever. Okay, let's go back to something effective. So this is the latest feature. I've been working on the handles. Those seems to be super classic, but then they are in fact adjustable handles. 
meaning that you can carry this on the shoulder or if it's super heavy you can also carry it like a messenger bag and <laughs> there's loads of room in this bag it's a bag made for those who just do the groceries once a year probably and then going back to small handles super simple there you go you got those strings you know flying around you'll probably be the funniest person like him at the supermarket Woo! to close the bag there's an option i want to explore and it's using this magnetic tape what is it supposed to stick to it's not super magnetic huh? Mouais, mouais. You know what mouais means? It means meh, meh. I'm really not convinced about those magnets. First off, they're, they're too weak. They don't snap together. It's not, it's not satisfying. And second, I'm not even sure this is practical. Like, if you're in a grocery store, you're putting loads of stuff in. The other customers are just pressing on you and you try to snap it. Wait a second, I'm trying to... I thought about integrating a string on which you would pull First off, wouldn't be that pretty. And second, it means that you have to deal all the time with what I thought to be a good idea, that, that long, annoying neck. That neck is a terrible idea. If it's that terrible, I should probably just... <sighs> Thank you. This is something that happens to me all the time. You think you have a good idea, and you now that it can breathe, of course, I need to find another way to close it. It's a never-ending story. Well. So this is Everyday Grocery Bag Prototype number 3. I just made a, a closing mechanism that I'm really happy with. Basically a Velcro strap. It's basically as solid as a ship container, structure, insulation, solidity, practicality and, and volume. It sure looks very different than, than my previous, you know, attempt. In terms of structure, I definitely like this one better. In terms of, of course, foldability, I... You really want me to show this to you? Okay. This is definitely... Wait a second. It's foldable. It's not foldable. In terms of weight, it's basically full of air. Wow. I should also say that the bag now is neither fully recyclable, neither upcycled, so... This new prototype definitely looks more insulating than, than the previous one. However, words will be words. Let's just give this a proper test, okay? My freezer is this way, so sorry. I've got myself two ice packs. Their surface temperature right now is minus 17. One inside this bag and one inside the other one. And now I'm gonna leave them sit for two hours and we'll just come back and check on those uh, in inner temperatures. Now freeze! I mean, it's, 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 it's in fact the, the opposite of freeze. I would lie if I were telling you I'm not worried about this because if it's not insulating then... Right, time to check on those uh, ice pack temperatures. Zero degrees Celsius. Ah, yes! Minus 6.5 degrees Celsius, which means this one is more insulating than that one. Good, that's good! This is what I've come up with. I'm not saying I wouldn't, I would go to the office. I mean, I am at the office basically, so. This is probably the best, um, What is going on? In terms of practicality, this bag is a beast. In terms of structure, this bag is also a beast. But in terms of design, this bag is a brick. So I guess I'm going back to the drawing board because I need to come up with something in between this super loose bag and this super stiff bag, basically. Something that would have a bit more style, that would be amazing. That wouldn't make me look like the uh, Deliveroo guy. Pegasus, do you say Ken? Tan, 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 tan. Dun, 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 dun. I could bike with this. Who ordered the pizza? Did you order the pizza? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I still got much work to do, but uh, I'm not giving up. So next episode will probably be about finding the sweet spot and also addressing the uh, recyclable situation. Since this is not perfect, 
And what I have in mind basically is even worse. This is not promising, but at least this is honest. Anyways, if you enjoy the adventure, you know what you gotta do. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Catch up next time. Bye-bye. Salut.